Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the Imperial Troop Transport from the Vintage Collection. So, here's the box. That's the front of it there. That's the top of it. Pretty cool. And then, around the side, that's the side of the box there. That's the other side. And yeah, it's just the same as the front then on the back. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this opened up. Okay, so straight out of the box, this is what it looks like. It wasn't tied in or anything. It just uh, came straight out like this. Uh, and there's this little bag in there as well. Instructions and it looks like a cannon there. Um, yeah, there's a bit of cardboard on here. I'm not sure what that's doing. But, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and take these things, bits of uh, whatever plastic tie things off. We'll take that off. We'll put the, find where the cannon goes. Yeah, we'll get it all set up. Okay, so here we have the little, I guess they're not really instructions, but they're sort of showing you everything you can do. So you put the, put the cannon on there. That part slides up by the looks of it. All of these parts open up. The top comes off, which is really cool. Put soldiers in there. The seats fold down. And I'm guessing that's like a gun rack or something. So. Here's the actual thing here. Let's see then uh, what we've got. So yeah, that bit can lift up like that. Which is cool, gives you a little look inside if you wanted to leave the top on. There's the compartments there where the stormtroopers go in. And right, so yeah, the whole thing is on I feel like wheels. Yeah, they're on little wheels, which is cool. Um, but yeah, those just pull open like that. So again, you can get like another look inside there. Um, the little turret piece here goes on like that obviously you can turn it however you like but then I think okay so it would help if I took all of the little plastic ties off there we go come straight off like that and then um, yeah you can have a proper look inside there which is cool um, yeah there's actually more room than I sort of thought I don't know yeah, so I don't think troopers will stand up inside, but then I guess that's why you have these little seats there that pull down, which is really cool. Yeah, that looks like it there, where you put the guns in there. Not quite sure how they'll slot in there, but according to the instructions, like that, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I haven't got any... Um, uh, remnant stormtroopers, which are the ones you see on the front of the box. I haven't got any of them to actually um, put in this, but I'm going to get some just normal bog standard stormtroopers. And the back opens up there as well. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some normal stormtroopers, put them in here, and see what it looks like. So, yeah. So, yeah, there's some uh, stormtroopers and a shore trooper. In there, they fit quite nice in there. Uh, I can't really remember how it looked in the show. Um, I think they just came barreling out the side. So I'm guessing that's what that is meant to represent. Um, but obviously, I think there was another one of these in season two, which uh, Cara Dune and Grief and the Mithril were in as well. And I think that's the same type of vehicle. Uh, so yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. I do like this. Uh, I do quite like the paint on it. So you've got like these marks here, like these weathering, just like overall weathering marks. And then kind of like darker blast marks down the sides here, which are really cool. Got the uh, like Empire insignia on there, which is nice. Um, yeah, more of that. More of those markings there. So yeah, that's about 
it for that. Just do some final thoughts. Um, I'm not going to say too much on this, I don't think, because it's already been out a while. Um, I actually got this super cheap um, from a site called Deep Discount. Uh, it's based in the States, I think. Um, it's an American site. And I saw on one of the groups I'm on, I saw a, a, a link to it. And it's going for, I say about $10. It was, a, it was a little while ago now that I ordered it, which was just crazy to me because everywhere you look at this, it's like, um, you know, it's, I think here in the UK, the last time I looked at it or saw it for sale, it was about 60 quid, I think, 60 pounds. Um, and I didn't really want to, I didn't want it that much, um, you know, so I never really got around to getting it. Um, but then I saw it on this site, like I say it was about $10. Um, the person who posted it also put a discount code as well, which knocked like a dollar or two off. And then I thought, okay, we'll go through that. Um, and I wasn't sure what it would be like getting it shipped to the UK, if they even would, or what the price for that would be. But it was only an extra £10, I think it was. So I think altogether this was... I want to say it was about £25 altogether, which isn't bad when it's going for, you, know, you can't find it in a lot of places. Um, so, yeah, when it's going for like £60 plus or whatever it was last time I looked, it was a steal really, so I had to get it. thought I'd just do a little video on it, a little unboxing now, like, because why not? And I'm pleased with it, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I think I am going to have to get some uh, remnant stormtroopers to put in there because these troopers here belong to... I got these two on my Tantive playset and um, yeah, need to display this with the proper accurate figures, I think. But yeah, it's, um, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I think it's a really cool vehicle. I do like that you can take a lot of the panels off and you can like look inside it and all that. Um, like I said, there's not much else to say other than, you know, what you can see before you. Uh, good paintwork and everything. So yeah, I'm pleased with that and uh, I'm happy I got a little bargain. But yeah, I'm not sure if I buy from them regularly or not. I'm not sure what they're all about, the site, because I'd never heard of them. I was a bit sceptical, but I can't fault them, to be honest. Um, like I said, I got this and they gave me, you know, kept me up to date with uh, everything. And there was tracking and the whole lot. So, yeah, it was an absolute steal. So I would check them out and keep an eye on them, especially if you do live in America. Um, so, yeah, I think that's probably all there is to say on this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Um, and let me know your thoughts below. I'm always happy to hear everyone's thoughts. And of course, you can follow me on other social medias as well, if that is something you're interested in. And yeah, just thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.